Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bloodborne Countdown. This is episode 6, Top 10 Stealth Kills. If you want to know what the next topic is, watch until the end of this video or look at the description. Otherwise, let's start this episode off at number 10. A rotten muffin has invaded another player here in the Nightmare Frontier. So he looks around and quickly figures out where his opponent is by looking at where the huge rocks are being thrown. And he also realises that his opponent hasn't seen him yet. He's going to sneak up on him using the tall rock formations as cover, kind of breaking the line of sight. What an awesome start. He just hid behind the rock, charged up a special attack and then absolutely buried the poor guy as he came round the corner. That must have been quite a shock, so good job man. Now let's move on to number 9. Here we have Jutas fighting another player and partway through the fight he uses the messenger's gift tool to disguise himself as a message. His opponent tries to sprint in and punish him but gets completely baited and outplayed. Jutas read the situation perfectly there and counters his attack with a gunshot and one shots the guy to win the fight. That was a great stealthy way to hide your movements and come out with a successful surprise attack. At number 8, Murphy is hidden using the messenger's gift tool as well. And the thing about being disguised like this is really you have no idea what his plans are. He could burst out of the disguise and do potentially anything. In this case, he's clearly waiting for the host of the world he's just invaded to run on by, but who knows what tactics he's going to use once that happens. Well, there we go. He could have blasted him with some arcane spells, gone for a charged attack or a backstab, but instead, he completely rips them apart with the dual blades of mercy. If that doesn't go to show how crucial the element of surprise can be, then nothing ever will. Coming in at number 7, we have Dark Souls Jeff, who's patiently waiting at the top of this elevator, and sure enough, good things will come to those who wait. That was just the perfect surprise attack, absolutely brutal. And also, believe it or not, it kind of seemed like there were two of them in the elevator. Not sure what happened to the second guy, but it seems like he panicked so hard he turned into jelly. Oh, by the way, I did notice that was a sick pyramid head cosplay, so good job with that man. Tommy is at number 6, and he's just used the blue elixir item to render himself pretty much invisible. You can still just about see him though if you look hard enough. There is an invader in his world and his plan of course is to sneak up on him when he's least expecting it. Stage 1 is successful, the invader ran right past him without noticing and so it's on to stage 2. Okay, hands up everyone who saw that coming. I mean, really, how is that even possible? He was literally standing right in front of him when he hit him with the charge attack. How did he not notice he was there? Number 5 is short and sweet. We've got a group of three friends here waiting to go beast mode on this rather unlucky invader. That was a pretty smart idea actually. All three of them used the Beast Draw Arcane tool to blast the invader off the elevator. I have to say, it is quite funny to watch the hunters becoming the hunted. We've had a few clips now of invaders getting humiliated, but now at number 4 we're going to be seeing the complete opposite of that. Biswalker has hidden himself using the blue elixir item and he's on his way to surprise attack not one, not two, but these three other players co-oping together. We have a man down, he absolutely destroyed that summon with a charge attack, didn't even need to follow up with the backstab. Rest in peace Sir Niggly Wiggly. Well, wow, that ended a lot quicker than I thought it would have. That was very impressive. Congratulations. And let's move along to number 3.
Here we have KH Knight with his two friends and they're just having a bit of fun dressed up in Mikolash cosplays which is a great idea. Two of them confront and distract the invader and then lead him through the archway to where the elevator is and then this hidden host is going to give him a special surprise Mikolash style. That was hilarious. I love how the last thing the invader would have seen is just the two summons making contact. <laughs> Very nice teamwork guys. Uh, number two, we have this deadly assassin Jeff Brook stalking his prey from above. In fact, he's laid a trail of shiny coins, which is the soul's equivalent of prism stones. And honestly, I'm so glad to see they have a use in Bloodborne. Anyway, essentially, he's laid a path for the invader to follow so that he can set up an absolutely insane execution. I just love how getting backstabbed and then thrown out a window wasn't enough to kill him, so he just ends up plunging down on him himself to finish the job. That was a really well thought out kill. Congratulations. Taking the first spot is Comrade, who's invaded this world and searched around a bit to eventually find the host and his summons running up the stairs in this rooftop area. Now this is why I like this clip. Instead of jumping on them and attacking them right then and there, which would still have been a fairly good surprise attack, he instead waits and figures out an ambush plan. He understands how the level fits together, so he runs around them to a spot where he knows they have to be going through, and that's where the magic will happen. Oh my goodness. Honestly, that is the coolest thing I've seen in Bloodborne, I think. That was legendary. A surprise attack triple ladder kill? Hell yes. Congratulations, Comrie. The next episode will be top 10 live reactions, so send me your clips with your voice, or your face if you want, of you reacting to something in Bloodborne. It could be funny, silly, angry, or whatever. Instructions on how to submit are in the description, and you have two weeks from when this video goes up to submit. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to follow me on Twitter, the link is below. It really is the best place for me to update everyone on what goes on each week. Thanks again lads and ladies, I'll see you in the next video.